Twitter bans the president, Draguetón's freaky side, and the passing of a Chicano music legend. It's time to get down with the update. What is up everyone? I'm AK. While scrolling through your social media feeds, you probably noticed that one account has been unusually quiet lately. Twitter handed out its strongest punishment yet by banning Trump's Twitter account after the president incited the mob that attacked the Capitol building, while Congress was formalizing Joe Biden's win in the November election. How ghetto! This sent a wave across other social media platforms and businesses to prohibit the president from using their services, including a satirical user-made statement from Olive Garden that went viral. Everyone was in on the joke except, of course, Fox News. With no timetable for a return, it's still unclear how Trump will get past the firewall. Maybe he'll place another collect call to Russia? For all the music lovers out there, we have a new genre of music for you to check out directly from the underground, and that is Neo Pedreo. It is the black sheep subgenre of reggaeton with all the flair and dicey spice with a punk rock attitude. This genre is popping off, y'all, from its native land in Chile to mainstream international headlines with the queen of Neo Pedreo herself, Tomasa del Real, who has performed on stages such as Lollapalooza and Coachella. How cool is it to be on the forefront of a a new wave of music. I'm kind of inspired to create some dope beats, y'all, so remember my name as DJ Snacks, because I'll be eating while I drop the bass. I thought I was going to be a DJ for a moment, because I love music. And oh, I was like, really? if what? I had to have a name, girl, let me tell you my name. My name was going to be DJ Snacks. So I could be DJ eating Snacks. while I'm like, you know? Oh, <laughs> While artists like Tomasa are paving the way with new genres, we'd like to take a moment to honor another musical innovator. The founding guitarist of the Chicano R&B band Tierra, Rudy Salas, who passed away in his sleep at the age of 71. Rudy grew up in a musical family and played mariachi songs with his brother at local gigs. In the 60s, he participated in the historic student walkouts that were protesting against inequality in education and demonstrated against the Vietnam War in the 70s. This passion for social justice found its way into the music he made while in the group El Chicano and later Tierra. Before he passed, Rudy left us with one last song that he recorded with the protest anthem, The Angry Giant Rising, signaling that while he may be gone, his musical legacy and fiery spirit lives on. Talk about holding it down, Rudy. Looking to see the continued legacy of cultural pioneers like Rudy Salas? Then head over to LATV.com where you can find more stories like these, plus all of our latest episodes and interviews with the Latino voices who are redefining culture. My name's AK, y'all keep on rocking in the free world. We'll see you next time.